Hello everyone and welcome back to another train simulator video. We're in the 429 today, but hello, hello driver. You are in charge of, well you're in the driver's cab of a flirt free running from Mans to Bingen, off the off, with an additional stop at Ingelheim. Due to construction work further up the line, this service will terminate at Bingen. Please let the passengers board here before you leave. Right, let's get the doors open. Have we been out of this station before? I don't think if we have, whereabouts are we? I think we're halfway along the line. Yeah, we have been along. We've been along from uh, up here, which is Frankfurt. So yeah, we've been from Frankfurt down to uh, along the airport way as well. That's the where we've been before. But yeah, what stops have we got? We have got um, Ingenheim, which is 17 kilometres, and then Bingen. Is that us? That's not us, is it? But yeah, this is the flirt. I'm sure a lot of you are used to these trains in the UK. Um, I think it's the seven. Oh, I can't remember the numbers now. Seven, six, something. Yeah, the, the new flirt trains. Let's get that on. Oh, that's quite cool, like that. But I don't think we're supposed to put all of that on. Uh, where are the lights on here? Lights are not the cab light. We can get that off. Where are the lights on here? Do one of these ones. Here. Have it on number two. There we go. Uh, let's get a screenshot there. Yeah, this is the flirt. I think this is actually coming to uh, Train Simulator soon as well. Like the actual UK one. This is the German one. Uh, as available on the Frankfurt to Koblenz lines. Line. But yeah, it's actually the second video I've recorded today. Uh, it was actually going to be on Fernbus Simulator, um, but it was more than five gigabytes, and the USB stick, even though it had enough room, it was like it's too big. So yeah, annoyingly, I had to get rid of that. And that was about half an hour as well. Um, and yeah, I've not got any editing stuff on the PC to trim it and change it. So yeah, this is the second recording, and this one's actually in a different quality. This one's on. Streamlabs high quality instead of indis uh, indistinguishable. Um, so hopefully it does still look good. Hopefully you don't really notice any difference as opposed to the other videos. I don't want the cab light on. It seems really bright in here. Well, let's get going. We're due there at. When we do at. We're due at Bingen in 20 minutes. In hall. Got the very snazzy interior. Look at this. I mean, this is like a pretty uh, luxury interior. It's lovely. Horn's a bit funny though. And then off we go and get up to 100 kilometers an hour. I still remember one of the first times. Oh, one containers. Uh, one of the first times I actually did play Train Simulator. This was. You know, five. Uh, no, this would have been more than that. It would have been uh, 2014, so seven years ago. I still remember um, thinking that the um, that all of it was in miles an hour. Because I just thought maybe you know you had to change it to kilometers an hour if you're on a German route. So I always used to like be really sort of baffled when I saw that German trains could go up to 160 miles an hour. Especially some of the, the, you know, not really high speed looking trains. And I was like, wow, the acceleration is amazing, the brakes are amazing. And obviously, yeah, now I figured out that's not the way it works. Cool. Now we go up to 100 miles an hour in a second. Oh, what's that shunter? Don't know. And yet, yeah, I've already forgotten the controls for the CFER and DSD and this. Yeah, completely forgot. Um, Shifty? Shift Enter? I can't remember. I always forget them. People put them in the comments and then I forget. It's, it's annoying. Unless you can do it from the actual fuse box, but I don't think you can. That's a little bit annoying. 
Right, let's uh, whack that up. Let's try and get a flyby shot if we can whiz ahead in time. Look at this. It's a lovely train. And the delivery on it is simple but effective. I mean, yeah, it's pretty much just all. Well, it's almost like the Thames and livery. It, you know, when you, if you just saw this bit of it, it's quite a boring livery. It's just a bit of grey, a bit of black, a bit of white. Not a lot to it. But the front bit, I don't know, stands out. Sort of the. I mean, for some reason, almost honeycomb comes to my head. The way sort of it looks for the little bits and. But it's, I don't know, it's good. This makes it not boring. Makes it a very nice livery. We are whizzing along. Yeah, it's a lovely train to drive this one. Well, it's 160 the whole way. Probably not. Probably down to like 100 in a second. Uh, we'll do that 43 past. So yeah, we're still way off. It would be nice if we did stick at 160. There's another service. Didn't quite catch that one. Ingelheim. Ingelheim? Yeah, Ingelheim. Cool. So it looks like we are whizzing for a few stations. I don't know if it's supposed to do the horn, but the horn's alright on this. any other interior cameras on this? Let's have a look. We've got that one. Okay, it's just those two there. Has anyone been on this train before? I don't know if it is just on this line in Germany, Frankfurt to Cobenz. It's got weird side bits to it. It's almost like there's supposed to be mirrors there, but then there's not. I mean, there is a window there from the outside, but is that sort of weird bit here? What is this for here? Two nine four those ones. Wow, look at all the one containers there. <laughs> that is a lot of pink and white. Cool. Let's whiz ahead. A little bit more ahead. There we go. Look at this whizzing along. No, I'd love to see this in TSI. I know I set up pretty much everything on TSI I drive. That's a lovely train. Have some of the horn. I would turn on PZB, but yeah, I have forgotten how you turn it on. What was it? I don't know if it's Enter and D. Oh, what would that do? No, I didn't do anything. I can't remember, it's annoying because so I know quite a few people have put it in the comments before.
Alright, this is England at home coming up, so we'll actually be early here as well. Quite a nice scenario, this one. Sort of whizzing along, 160, good scenery. Well, alright scenery, I mean, there's not anything too major, but... Right, pretend we have PZB on. Right, come down. You'd probably be getting a 1000 Hz magnet at the moment, so we probably would be screwed. But yeah, it's a lovely route, this one, and I think this was actually one of the base routes for... Well, in fact, it is... I think it is a base route for... Whoa! Oh, wow. Wow, we have just lost all of the points. I should have known, but... Wow. It's really going to be like that, is it? That's a lot of minus points. Um... But even when you don't have PZB on, it still sort of penalises you for... But I mean, if you didn't know that the German signal was or anything like that, it would still penalise you. And yet, well, now we've got minus 2011. Oh well, when it comes to TS, I really... When it comes to points on TS, yeah. I don't really, uh... Yeah, because I'm always getting negative. Um, and they're annoying. What was I saying, though? I remember now. Yeah, I think this is one of the base routes for train sim 20... 22. It's the 5 circle. I know that. No, it's not the 5 circle. That's the last one. That's a good point. I, I mean, I should know this. I, I did know it. No, Frankfurt to Koblenz is one of the base routes. Yeah, it must be, because I remember streaming it on... I remember streaming... Yeah, it was Washington to Baltimore. On the North East Corridor. Frankfurt to Colbenz. Then the British route is. The British route. I think it might be the five circle. No, I don't think it is. It's. No, Frankfurt to Colbenz. Yeah, Frankfurt to Colbenz. And um, Washington DC to Baltimore. And then what's the British route? I'm thinking. Or oh, wasn't there a British route? Yeah, Strasbourg to Karlsruhe was the deluxe edition. That will slip even more minus points. Oh, I can't think of the British route. Can't think of it. I don't think it was five circle. Right, here we are. No. I think it is five circle. Yeah, I think it's five circle. Washington DC to Baltimore and Frankfurt to Club End. I think. And then as the deluxe route is Strasbourg to Karlsruhe. Look at that. Minus 1,226. Ah, that hasn't gone too well, has it? I don't know, you're not... It sounds like it's already closing, but that's not already closing. We've got one more... I mean, we've still got... Yeah. A little bit of time here. We're due out of here at 45 past. Let's bing and next. Platform, see that's the thing with German stations. Some of them are really confusing. Look, platform 102. Although it's not platform 102. Because they do, there's probably a, like a big freight yard next to it, isn't there? Sort of, yeah. 203! It's, yeah, quite confusing some of the German... Things. Yeah, that is apparently track 10, platform 101, 102, 100, 201, 202. Imagine getting off there and it says, oh, your train's on platform 202, and you see 102, you'd be like, that's a long way to go. But yeah, so are some odd stations like that. Imagine yeah, going up to the staff -like member at the station. Uh, what platform is my train on? Uh, you're on platform 350. And you just look up and see, oh, I'm only on platform 50 or something. But in fact, it's literally just the next platform across. For a second, you'd be like, wow, we've got a long way to go. I'm imagine a station with that many platforms. 102, was it? 102. I'm trying to think of the, what is, what is the biggest station in the world when it comes to platforms? I think Grand Central has like 60 or something. 
probably completely wrong that's, that is, but... Yeah, I wonder what has the most platforms in the world. Commenters, comment below. <laughs> Almost there, it's getting there. But yeah, hopefully you haven't noticed any sort of difference in the quality as opposed from yesterday's video. Um, as yeah, this is on the other set and this is high quality instead of indistinguishable. But there can't be a big difference, can there? Do let me know, though. My sort of indistinguishable. That might be sort of 4K stuff. I mean, high quality, that sort of sounds like something HD. And yeah, quite a lot of the previous PC videos were a little bit blurry. You can't notice it in all of them. But you'll notice there's, you can sort of see a sort of bit of fuzziness. If you're not looking for it, you won't see it. But when I see it, I see it every time. So I've had to... Yeah, recently bump it up. Well, I found out how you do bump it up. Which was quite an easy setting. Because it was set to, like, the video quality, well, video recording was set to the same as stream. Even though the streams don't look fuzzy, when you record it, it then looks fuzzy. It's a bit sort of weird. Um, the way then the streams don't look fuzzy. So, I was a bit confused the way one, but yeah, it's different, but hey yeah. Right, how far? It's 12 kilometres. Whenever we're whizzing for any other stations. 150. That's coming out, so we have got another station we're about to go through. Let's get a fly by shot. Whiz ahead, whiz ahead. Well, we got minus 800, so <laughs> we're making up points slowly. And there it goes. Cool. Let's get back in. On this grey, miserable summer's morning. Although when it is summer, and it is sort of like this, well, sort of springtime, it's actually usually the best days to go out. Because you're not getting roasted by the sun. If it's not raining, well, you're going to be dry. But it's still sort of nice and mild. So these are, well, almost the best days to go out. When, it, you know, when it's hot. And you get a bit of a breeze as well. Well, that's it. That's what I was saying. I always think I do have the better days out, especially if I'm going, you know, to play football or something. So I want a nice sort of overcast, still warm, but not, you know, roasting in the Sunday. Can do all this sort of stuff. MFD free power. Can't turn those ones off. Oh, you can. There we go. Boom. Have some of that. We do not need the speed on my set. No, let's get back on. There you go, they're going back on. Boom. I still think what this is here, though. Sort of this, I mean, it looks like it is supposed to be a window, but then it's not a window. Well, it is, though, but then on the outside, it's... I don't know. What's up? Let's go I don't think it's supposed to be a screen though. I mean, if it was a screen, why would it be covered up in like a big glass box? Five kilometers to bing in. If you are enjoying the video, do leave a thumbs up and can we try and get to five? I was uh, we're about to say, well, hang on a second, wait, what, what? Yeah, can we try and get to 5,000 subs by the end of the year? It's looking unlikely. I know it's quite an ambitious goal, but can we? Even though we will, won't, it'll probably be a no, but can we try and get to 5,000 subs? So if you want to see more, feel free to sub. That is a 185. 
A very sort of default, standard German freight loco. Should get a warning board soon for the 100. I should do. Maybe not. Well, let's start bringing that down. Yeah, you should get more. I don't know. Maybe I missed the warning board. Probably. They're coming up to Bingen. Oh, there is a warning board. No. That's for the next limit. I don't know. But I, I, maybe I missed the speed board. Now I was paying attention. Some sort of cathedral there. Some sort of interesting building, look at that. It's like lots of spires mashed into one. That's quite a cool design there. Oh no, they're all different ones. Awesome. Right, let's bring that down to 90. Seems like quite a cool place being in. Sort of like a fairly classic, traditional place. But yeah, no, I'm speeding. Yeah, minus 900 or so. In the hills as well, it's lovely. Good impressions of Bingen. We'll have to do a stream on this route at some point, go the full way. We've only ever done Frankfurt to Mainz, or Mainz. We've never done it um, further up towards um, Coblenz. But this is the next step. And quite a fast step as well, that was pretty much a hundred miles an hour the whole way. It's not bad. Let's bring the spit out, wheel slip, wheel slip. I mean, where are we now? We're here, so we're sort of halfway between, okay, no, probably not. It's still quite a way up to, to club ends. Here we are, we did it. That is it. Well, that does conclude today's video. Hopefully, everyone did enjoy. I sure did, even though we've got minus 914 points. Uh, you will find a link in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal. Quickly, just there we go. And to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. Apart from that, thanks all for coming in, and hopefully, we'll see you in the next one. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.